What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In my previous video, I showed you how to set up a Debian server on physical hardware from scratch and get yourself an SSH set up on it. If I quickly connect to it, username at device, you can see things are working happily here. And the current IP address of this device is IP space hyphen C space A, the way that we're connected to the internet, 192.168.1194. You can tell this is the correct adapter by the state up over here. Devices that are currently not plugged in will show us state down and loopback shows us LO. You'll see things like Docker here if you have those set up, etc. But for me, it's nice and simple. We use IP hyphen C for a colored output, which makes things a lot easier to see. As you can see, my IP address is 192.168.1194. What happens if this changes? If you move your device to a different port, a different room, etc. Well, we can set it to be static really easily, and that's what I'll show you in this video. First of all, find out how you're connected to the internet and your current IP address. So we used IP hyphen C A as such. Then we'll need to find out our router's current address. So we'll use IP space R for this. As you can see, we've got our IP address here, the device name here, and the way that we're connected to the internet here, our router's address, 192.168.1.1. With all of this information in hand, we can now set a static network address using these current details here. We can even change our current IP address. Let's do it. The command that you're gonna need to know to set the static IP address is sudo nano etsy network interfaces as such. When we hit enter, we're dropped into our network configuration file and you can see everything here. We've got our loopback defined here and we've got our physical network adapter defined here. Let's go ahead and comment out the DHCP and auto lines over here just so we can manually configure our device. And if you wish, you can turn off IPv6 just by commenting these two lines here. I'll leave these on for now and add a few lines. Let's get to configuring our network device. First of all, we'll use auto space, the name of our device, which is ENP2S0 in my case. Then to change the local IP address, on the next line we'll use iFace ENP2S0, the name of our device, inet space static instead of DHCP. Now we'll need to manually configure everything. So on the next line we'll add a space and we'll use the command address to give it an address, in my case 192.168.1.194 which is its current network address. Then net mask 255.255.255.0 for most cases this is what it will be then gateway which is our router's address which in my case was 192.168.1.1 this is what we found from the ip-r command then we'll need to add some dns info so dns hyphen domain will be the name of this device here i'll call it NUC. this way i can easily ssh username at NUC, so we don't even need to know the ip address to begin with then we'll use DNS hyphen name servers to tell our device how to identify things on the internet. First of all, we'll add 192.168.1.1, which is my network gateway or the IP address of my router. This allows us to use things like NUC as an identifier. Then we'll need to add name servers for the internet. For me, I'll be using Cloudflare, which is 1111, and Google's DNS, which is 8888. As simple as that, we've now set a static IP address. We can save the file using Control S and we can close it using Control X. Just make sure you spell everything correctly as I usually misspell things. Closing this, we can now use the command sudo systemctl restart networking.service as such. When we do so, our SSH will be dropped temporarily while our device reconnects to the internet and IPCA. We can see we're still on 192.168.1.194, which is great. If we change to a different port on our router, move to a different router in our mesh network or something like that, our IP address won't change. But just to prove this, I'll go back to our interfaces file and I'll change this to 192.168.1.195, for example. If I save this, close this, and once again, restart our networking service, my SSH will be dropped and it will no longer reconnect. We'll need to reconnect in a new tab. If I use SSH, username at NUC or 192.168.1.195, we'll be able to reconnect to our device on the new IP address. I've just used its domain name here and the correct password. When we use IPCA, you can now see that we're on 192.168.1.195, meaning we've successfully set up a static IP address for our device here. It's that simple. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.